2018 saw 2,489 pounds of ganja seized by police. That total was up 150% compared to the year before. However, as Cayman 27's Andrew Harris reports, drugs are still finding their ways into our community. We have a drug problem. I would identify it as an epidemic. Hope for Today Foundation CEO Brent Hydes says when it comes to the drug industry, some are willing to take great risks. They're being hired by the people that are financing the drugs to take that chance to go abroad and to bring the drugs back to our shore. And once those narcotics make it onto our shores, it trickles down onto our streets and eventually into our schools. Year after year, we found that the use of marijuana has been increasing. Lisa McLaughlin of the National Drug Council says the last 20 years of statistics have revealed that drug use is on a constant rise. For marijuana, it's about 30% of the students report use marijuana at least once in their lifetime. Ms. McLaughlin says that stats show more teenage girls are experimenting with ganja than their male counterparts. And it all boils down to accessibility. The fund of source um, is friends. And year after year, they are found it more easy to get these substances. Mr. Hyde says in the end, it's a matter of supply and demand. And as long as the demand is there, people will continue to find a way to supply it. And Drell Harris came on 27. In 2018, 196 drug-related crimes were recorded. That's up from 24 the year before.